This is Adjuster TV News. Hey everybody, this is Max Olson with an Adjuster TV weather update. We're currently tracking Tropical Storm Ada, which is making landfall in the Florida Keys tonight, expected to gain strength into a hurricane early this week before making an additional landfall in the western coast of Florida as a tropical storm. Now, all in all, Florida is well equipped to handle a storm like this. We're going to see winds in excess of potentially 60, 65 miles per hour and some heavy rains, especially in southern Florida. But ultimately, with the way this year has been going, this is definitely not a uh, big concern. Thankfully for Florida, they've pretty much escaped the wrath of all these major hurricanes that have been making landfall along the Gulf Coast. So thankfully, it looks like they're going to dodge a bullet with this one. Just some, you know, really stormy weather. And we're still going to see some issues with inland flooding, potentially some branches on houses type stuff. But overall, not a giant threat at the moment. Now, as I said earlier, it's expected to get into some more favorable conditions early this week. It's been fighting a lot of sheer and dry air. And you can see here on the satellite image not a lot of thunderstorm growth around the center usually you see a lot of those bright colors indicating vigorous thunderstorm development around that area of low pressure in the center not the case with ada we've had a lot of dry air today but conditions are going to be getting a bit more favorable early this week for development and we are expected to see this reach hurricane status by Monday or Tuesday most likely. Then it recurves back off to the east aiming at the western coast of Florida but it is again expected to decrease its strength back to a tropical storm and make landfall with the same threats that it's producing now. Some gusty winds, some flooding. Now some of the models have been a bit more vigorous on how strong this will be when it makes that secondary landfall but it's a little too far out to tell. It has to go through a few different phases before we can even begin to take that into the possibility. The, the general consensus though is for a weakening trend so let's hope that stays the case because we really do not need any more disasters. It's already been an absolutely historic season. Adjuster TV has been there for the majority of the hurricanes. In fact, the only one we missed out on was Category 1 Isaias, which made landfall in the Carolinas in early August. Every single other hurricane that made landfall, Adjuster TV was there reporting live and doing videos with some of the most dramatic footage captured in the entire season. Now, if these short videos weren't enough for you, we are going to be producing a series on Adjuster TV Plus called Hurricane Hunt. This is going to feature the entire storm chase from start to finish. It's going to be like a documentary TV series about storm chasers, but we're going to include the human impact after the fact and talk about how it impacted independent and adjusters. It's going to be a really cool project and I think you all are really going to love it. But the only way to see that plus other exclusive in-depth content is to subscribe to Adjuster TV Plus. Now that's all we really have to talk about with Ada for right now. Thankfully on the lower end of the spectrum compared to what we've seen this year so far. But if you're in South Florida, there are still going to be impacts. So please do stay safe. And all you adjusters out there working from the other hurricanes, let us know what it's like right now. Are you still out deployed? What's the scene like? Leave a comment down below and tell us what your story is. Thank you all so much for watching and have a great week.